Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Steve. Tomorrow we're heading up a very steep hill to visit a Greek Orthodox monastery. Apparently, the road up to it is a bit frightening. I've been told it's not for the faint-hearted. When it comes to cliff edges, I'm the faint-hearted. But more of that later. I've just stopped for the night. Quite by accident, I found this stunning wee spot in the seaside village. I'm exhausted. I'm going to have an early night before setting off early tomorrow morning. What a difference a day makes. I've just woke up. Um, very wavy when I got here yesterday. Very windy. It's lovely, but it's windy, really windy, a bit cool. Woke up this morning, it's beautiful. What a nice sweet spot. I'm going to head further west today. I have one place to bring you, which actually hard to describe. She's just loving the water. Go on out a wee bit further. The thing that made me stop here, I've been getting really bad internet recently. The last week camp said it was good for about the first hour and I don't know what happened. Just after that I couldn't get it. I couldn't their Wi-Fi was rubbish and, and my Vodafone wasn't picking up very well. But I come up with the idea if you parked reasonably close to a telephone mast, would that help? So I spotted that. On the way down the road yesterday and parked up here and I, I don't know if it's that but it's the best internet I've had in maybe two weeks other than being connected to Wi-Fi services best mobile internet food for thought we trying that out again something I've noticed for the past couple of days is that this coastline it's almost deserted you know, there's lots of other places in Greece that are quiet because it's out of season and but I've driven for miles and miles and miles. It's just empty buildings, empty shops, empty homes, hardly any residents. So it just shows you the way some of these places clear out in the winter. Time to climb. Had to stop. This road's just amazing. Ep I know that I keep using words like fantastic and epic and whatever, but it is. Just a fantastic road to drive along. And I thought, I wonder what it would look like from up above. So let's have a look. expecting this but as you get higher and higher there's more and more of these beautiful tavern restaurants with fantastic decks looking over the valleys and I can't believe how high this road is. I'm looking down in the distant villages and, and valleys it's it's stunning I can't take my eyes to the road for a second Here I am, I'm not sure now what to do, I don't know if I have to pay or where the car park is, but I'll take it as it comes, I'll just head on up.
what a setting. And breathe. My gosh, that was a steep hill, cliffs the whole way up. That was like over half an hour, mostly in second gear. And for anyone who doesn't know what that means, it means very steep hill. All the cliffs <laughs> were in my side of the road. So plenty of concentration needed, but this is unbelievable. This really is epic. The monastery that I've come to has an epic feature, but its location has to be number one. So let's go and have a look. How impressive is that? Built right into the cliff. Well, built right into the cave. Let's go and have a look. This monastery is one of the oldest in Greece, dating back to 362. And it has an in interesting bit of history, considering what it is, you wouldn't expect this. But during the Second World War, it was bombed in 1945 and destroyed. It had to be practically rebuilt again. find too much information relating to the relevance of the of the cave other than to say that apparently caves have been used for worship or found to be used for worship for thousands of years dating back almost to the stone age I spent my whole day at the, at the edge of cliffs. Stephen doesn't do cliffs. I really enjoyed that. It was a sort of place that always have a lovely, calm vibe about them. What I'm not enjoy, going to enjoy is the drive down. Um, I've come up one way and I'm going down another way. Maybe it'll be a big wide motorway. No, I don't think so. But see you at the bottom.